we are following breaking news in Westwood. UCLA students returning to class this morning with a heavy police presence on campus. Last hour, we saw people being detained inside a parking structure on campus. We're also getting word about a situation unfolding at Moore Hall at UCLA. KTLA's Aaron Myers is on campus this morning with all the details. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning to you both. Yeah, we are here in that parking structure right now where dozens of people are being detained. Uh, this is happening in a parking structure off of Charles E. Young Drive. There are people out here advising those being detained about their rights as well. What we know so far is 43 people in the parking structure are being detained at this point. According to UCLA Police, please say that there is a curfew on campus from 12 to 6 a.m. that students were here before that. He said they are being detained for delaying an investigation. At this point, we're not sure how many or if any people will actually be arrested. Those advising say there is no curfew though. Now Sky 5 was also overhead earlier as police tape was put up around a building on campus. We are trying to get more information about that. Um, we believe it's more hall according to someone I spoke to on campus. Now this all comes as the Chancellor Gene Block announced a new office of campus safety yesterday. He said urgent changes were needed in how the university administers safety operations. Those clashes lasted for hours before law enforcement intervened. Yesterday he announced the creation of a new office Office that will be in charge of safety and law enforcement and he's appointing a former police chief to lead it. Rick Brazil will be the inaugural associate vice chancellor of the Office of Campus Safety which will oversee the UCLA PD and the Office of Emergency Management. Previously they were overseen by the Office of Administrative Vice Chancellor. Now Brazil who you can see on the far right in this photo was the chief of police in Sacramento from 2008 to 2012. He was also an instructor in community policing at Cal Poly Humboldt and has reviewed other law enforcement agencies and police responses. And advisory group for the new office was also created. Now this comes after finger pointing where UCLA administrators blame UCLA police for what happened last week, but the union that represents campus police say it's the administrator's fault for the poor response. Now the LA Times reports UCLA police chief John Thomas is facing scrutiny for security lapses, some calling for him to step down. Now this after allegedly assuring leadership the morning before that attack he would mobilize or he could mobilize forces in minutes. He is denying those allegations and said he did everything possible to provide security and protect students. Sources also told the Times that the chief was asked for a security plan, which he failed to provide. Thomas, though, said he warned administrators about allowing an encampment in the first place, saying it violated rules for overnight camping and could lead to serious problems. Campus leaders apparently cited students' freedom of expression, rights for allowing it. Now, Chancellor Jean Block said both UCLA and the UC Office of the President have committed to a thorough investigation of their security processes. Now, back here live, though, you can see right now those 43 people still being detained. We are trying to get more information about exactly what will happen, how many arrests may be made, if any. We are also working on getting more information about what is happening, possibly at Moore Hall. We will bring that to you when we get it. Reporting live here in Westwood, I'm Erin Myers. I'll send it back to you in the studio.